What up? This is Rap Pitch, and so here's the real reason why some fans are upset with the new GTA 6 trailer. And so a lot of fans are saying that it looks like the main character is a female. So it looks like a female lead. Others are saying it looks like a Bonnie and Clyde type situation where she's going to be with some dude. Um, so you can play as both. You can switch between playing with the female and her boyfriend but it looks to me like the female is the lead because the way the trailer opens up it's like the woman the female lead looks like she is locked up and she's getting out she's on the way to get out released into the free world and when she gets out it looks like she links back up with her dude and then they go on a you know, on a spree across the city and, you know, getting into all types of mischief and all types of stuff like that. So a lot of fans are just saying that it looks like the female is the main character of that game and that's not really what they wanted because traditionally the GTA series has had a male lead. And really that's their market. Because with Marvel, they're finding out kind of the same thing where they try to push a movie with three female characters called the Marvels. And no one wanted to see it because Marvel's main fan base is actually dudes. That's who really is the ones who read comics and are into that stuff. Just like Barbies for Barbies, usually that's, that's women into that. So with video games, it's mostly a male driven market where it's, it's mostly dudes playing video games and into into stuff like that GTA 6 and you know it's not I'm not saying women don't play video games but it's mostly a dude thing so they don't necessarily want to switch up the series to a female lead and also even if you can't switch between the female and the dude they still just don't want to do that really um, with Tomb Raider, that's when it really first started because that was Lara Croft. She was a female character and people liked that game, but that was how it kicked off was with her. With GTA 6, it's like they're, they're changing things around. A lot of people actually wanted a Chicago-based GTA game like on O Block and all types of stuff like that, but it looks like this GTA 6 series is going to be in Florida and it's really a fictional Florida because it's Vice City. So they did that on purpose, though, in my opinion, because they didn't want it too realistic. They didn't want it to be in an actual city of Florida. They wanted to make up a city, a fictional city. But you could tell what they're talking about is Miami, Florida. I mean, you see the Gators. It's even called Miami. I think it's just a fake city in Miami like they made up a city because it would be too realistic if they really had um, the real cities now another GT I think it was GTA 5 was in California and people said they knew those streets they knew a lot of the streets in the game with Spider-Man that's based in New York and you can really fly, uh, swing through the city it's really New York you can go through Times Square and everything so with GTA 5, people said that was actually their city in real life. Like, it was in the game. So, I'm not sure about that or nothing, but that's what I've been hearing. So, people really wanted a Chicago-based GTA game, but I think they were uh, probably talked to. Maybe they tried to make it, and, you know, I, I think that people might have talked to them and said no. Because, because... Um, the higher ups can get involved in stuff like this to make sure stuff like that stops just like how the movies like Menace to Society and all that stopped. You got to kind of put those movies out independently now. They don't touch the theaters anymore because they were concerned just like they tried to stop uh, rap music but that wasn't successful. It just ended up making them more popular. So with, the, um, with those movies like Boys in the Hood and Menace to Society and Belly those would have been kept coming out, but I believe something stopped, you know, the higher powers stopped those movies from hitting the theaters.
because they 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 decided that that was making too much of a um, impression on people. Movies like Juice and stuff like that. So I think that they you know they might have considered making a GTA in Chicago, but it probably got stopped. Um, also, a lot of fans was upset that it ain't coming out till 2025. So they really wanted this to be out in 2024. But the thing is, um, basically, it sounds like the Rockstar um, company was forced to release their trailer early because it sounds like there was a leak in the trailer. The trailer somehow got leaked before they were ready to release it. And so they had to capitalize on that and release the trailer because it was already getting leaked. So they had to release it early And they're saying that's why The trailer is out early And you gotta actually wait a whole nother year They probably weren't gonna release it Till sometime in 2024 originally But now The trailer's out And it quickly became the most popular YouTube video they're saying In the history of YouTube it sounds like I mean I'm, I'm not sure about that 100% But that's what I've been hearing Is that the trailer got over a hundred million views in just a short amount of time. So everyone's really excited about it. And we'll have to see if the impact of having that female lead character is going to impact the game at all. It probably won't with so many people being excited and watching that trailer. Who knows really how many fans are actually upset, but it sounds like they're going to probably play it anyways. Cause uh, the GTA series has a serious fan base So they really have a massive fan base And it probably won't impact the game You wouldn't think um, We'll have to just wait and see though Really they're saying that the game might even be kind of pricey Some people are saying they're expecting the game to be about 100 bucks Who knows maybe it's going to be even more We'll have to see But yeah let me know what y'all think about everything we talked about in this video about the a female lead character and the release date, and do you think that they should have made a GTA in you know Chicago-based GTA or something? But like I said, I don't think they wanted that because it's just gonna. Um, they think it's gonna influence more in the real life. Like they think that people will will be um you know could turn up the city, and and, and um, it's not gonna be good to release a. GTA Chicago style game Although some people Do have mods They modified the game on a, on a PC or something I'm hearing Where you can actually play GTA and O Block and stuff like that So people will find a way To make a, um, Chicago City Maybe eventually But yeah that's about it This has been Rapids Make sure you like and subscribe And click that notification bell I'm out of here